Imagine for just a moment you're a baby chick, minding your own business when suddenly up above you, you see this. Or this. Or this. In what world are any of these things gonna turn out good for you? So how then do you think your baby chicks feel when they see this? From a chicken's point of view, nothing good ever comes from hands or feet coming towards them. You might see other birds who will pick up objects with their feet, but chickens aren't like that. Chickens don't do that. Chickens use their feet mainly for walking and moving around. They use their feet for scratching the ground, scratching themselves, and for perching. The reason chickens have this grasping capability isn't so they can pick up or maneuver objects, it's so they can perch. If chickens do want to handle or maneuver objects, they will actually use their beak. Their beak is the equivalent of our hand. And so that means a mother hen would never use a foot to handle her chick in any way. And in fact, the only time that chickens use their feet on other chickens is when they're fighting. So chickens will lunge at each other with their feet when they're fighting. This is true of both roosters and of hens. And so what this all means is if your chicks aren't habituated to being around your hands and you go grabbing at them to pick them up, they will be scared for their lives. So how should you pick your chicks up instead? I'm gonna show you that in just a second, but I first just wanna say that if you don't have your chicks yet or your chicks are only one or two days old, then you're really in luck because you can imprint them on you in those first couple days of life. And if you do that, then they are really, really easy to handle. And I'll come back to how to get started with that later in this video, but if you don't imprint your chicks on you during those first couple days of life, then your chicks will very quickly move into this stage of being very frightened when you try to handle them. So let's assume that's where you're at. Let's assume your chicks are afraid of you handling them, but you know that sometimes you do need to pick them up. Maybe you need to do a health check, check for pasty butt, something like that. Or maybe you need to pick them up to move them into a larger space, for example. What is the least traumatic way that you can do that? Well, you now know the last thing you wanna do is to come down on top of them from above. So that means that you need to either come at them from below or from the sides. If your chicks are really tiny, you can very easily come at them from below by just very gently putting your hand under them to scoop them up. And then you would gently curl your fingers around her to hold her wings down. If your chicks are a bit bigger and you can't just easily pick one up with one hand from scooping below, then you'll want to use both hands and come in from the sides to clamp the wings down. And whichever method you're using to pick your chicks up, you may need to let their little legs just hang loose between your fingers or between your hands. Because if their feet are touching your hand, they may be able to use your hand as leverage to kind of kick off. So by leaving their little legs loose, all they can do is kick the air. You'll find that if you have a brooder that you can approach from the side. So think of a cage where the door swings open or even a cardboard box where you've taken where you've cut one side of the box so it can swing open like a door. If you have that kind of setup, then you can kind of come in at the chick's level so that your hands are going at their level towards them rather than coming from up here. All right, girls, hi. Hi, babies. <laughs> hi, babies. It's much harder when your chicks are in something like a plastic bin or some other type of box where you can only reach down from the top. If you do have to come down from that high angle, don't go straight at your chicks. Just very slowly slide your hand down the inside of the box so it doesn't shock them. And then when your hand is already down there, you can try to scoop one up from underneath or come out one from the sides. And if you find that your chick is still freaking out once you've picked her up, then you'll wanna do the super simple eye contact trick. And you can see exactly how to do that in this video here, which is the video you should watch next if you already have chicks. If you don't have chicks yet, then you're gonna to wanna to consider imprinting your chicks on you so that you can avoid fearful chicks altogether. And to learn how to get started with that, you'll want to watch this video next. Happy chickening.